Good morning, story time friends. Jocko, I'm glad you brought your flashlight because that's the name of this book. It's Flashlight by Lizzie Boyd and it's about all the wonderful things you can see at night with a flashlight. This is, there's a little boy in his tent. He's going camping and he brought his flashlight with him. But he's gonna go outside and explore things. First he puts on his boots and he goes, he looks up, he sees something flying around in the sky, some bats. And another thing in this picture is this little green spot. This is a luna moth, which is almost as big as Jocko. And you'll see the luna moth in every picture. There's lots of insects in this book, too, and insects and different animals. So he takes his flashlight, and what does he see? Some mice. And here's the luna moth in the picture. And a full moon and some other animals in the darkness. There's an owl. Do you know what an owl says? There's the owl flying away, and the little boy takes the flashlight and finds another animal. Skunks. He walks over to a pond where he sees some logs in a pond. I wonder how those got there. Do you see other animals in the picture? How did the logs get there? Who was making something with logs and sticks? It's a beaver. You know, in this picture, there's some twigs. He sees the twigs with his flashlight. What could be making them? Do you see other animals in the picture? Something up in the tree is cutting down those twigs, chewing on them. And here it is. It's a porcupine. And here's some, some bugs, maybe some moths. And he goes back over to the pond and there's a water strider, a bug that floats on top of the water in the pond. And with his flashlight, he sees the fish. There's that owl still flying around. And over here, there's still the skunks hiding behind a tree. Now he takes, oh, here's the moths that are flying among the flowers. And he takes his flashlight, and what does he see now? It's a fox. And there's that luna moth, too. And the bats. And he goes over to his tree house. He sees the flags at the treehouse and other animals in this picture, you can see. And in this, he looks on the ground and he sees some, some apple cores. Something's been eating the apples. What could it be? It 
It is the deer. Here's the luna moth, the tree, and a beaver hiding behind the tree. And what are these animals down here? And here's the fox that we saw earlier. So the, the boy decides he's going to eat an apple too. And something else is eating. Some other little, little tiny creatures are eating the apples. Lots of animals and people like to eat apples. So he put his flashlight down. And then he, when he gets up, he's walking along. And uh-oh, he tripped. He tripped. And he dropped his flashlight. Dropped his flashlight. What's going to happen next? All the animals are still there. The owl and the fox and the skunks and the beaver and the mice and the deer. Somebody else picked up his flashlight. Who could it be? It's the raccoon. And now who has the flashlight? The beaver in the pond. And over here, Someone else has the flashlight. Is it the skunks? And then, the deer. The deer had the flashlight. And over here you can see some dragonflies all kinds of different animals in these pictures. Can you see? See all the different animals? The luna moth and the deer and the bats and the skunks. The fox. And it looks like the, the beaver have the flashlight now. Looks like some little fireflies over here, too. Or moths. There's that Luna moth. And now the owl has the flashlight. You see all the different animals of the forest. I think the boy is ready to go back to his tent now. And the owl points the flashlight to his tent. He goes in the tent and he's reading a book just like this one. And who's holding the flashlight there? Is it the little mice? And the, that's the end of the story, the flashlight. And here are some of the, the beautiful, interesting animals that you can see at night with a flashlight, or even in the daytime. Animals and plants and insects. Bye, story time friends. See you next week.